We the people have been taken for a ride and it's time to fix the wagon. Chapter 1. An outline for saving, collectively our ass. Our family and our country. If you aren't scared to death about the future of this country, you must already be dead. For the rest of us, hang on tight and let's get to saving our collective backsides. This outline was current as of December 7th, another day of infamy. After the 2016 presidential election between the two worst candidates in recent U.S. history, don't be distracted by the daily lies, distortions, and mudslinging. It's all there to distract you and keep you from doing anything about it, by keeping everybody all stirred up so that the politicians and their owners can keep stealing, cheating, and robbing from the rest of us. The Constitution proclaims, freedom of the press, which in today's world equals all the media, may not be abridged. But what about the freedom of the people, to whom the media lies to every day? Today, media is everything that we see and hear, and just because it comes over the social media and is beamed directly to you, doesn't mean it's true. It's now all hearsay, and none of it can be. Trust it, what you can trust is that its purpose is to influence you. Even bald-faced blatant lies have an effect even when you know. They're lies. It's human nature and these information charlatans know it. Right down to the last decimal point and dollar sign. We the people have been taken for a ride and it's time to fix the wagon. The most abused, misused and misunderstood slogan in the history of the United States. Used by the wealthy white male landowners to drum up support against Great Britain. A great slogan in a campaign to steal the land from the crown and to set up their own little fiefdoms here on this continent. Thankfully, they succeeded and this country was born. But to keep what they had taken, they had to share it with others who, like themselves, were more interested in their own welfare. And again, thankfully so. It resulted in the compromise that we call the Constitution and literally out of thin air produced a new type of country, heretofore never seen before on this planet. Benjamin Franklin, in answering the question of what we have conceived, replied, a republic if you can keep it. You must understand the United States is an experiment. We are not destined to continue forever, and we can most certainly fail. History and current national and world affairs seem to be leaning heavily towards failure, something that we must not allow to happen. Despite all that we are experiencing around us, we can take steps to correct our problems, to rebuild and strengthen our country. We must take on the role as leaders, not just followers, not just voters. Voting for someone that you wouldn't trust with your dog is not the way. We must all get involved, and believe it or not, I have found the way to do just that. Most people have never even heard about Article I, the real First Amendment to the Constitution. Despite everything that you're going to hear about it, it was ratified and is actually the law of the land. The history of the Constitution and what is commonly called the Bill of Rights, that you may or may not have been taught is wrong and the mistakes have only multiplied through the last 230 years. But never mind that for a moment. What is now needed are concerned, involved leadership and Article the First. Give that power back to U.S., we the people. It simply states that at this country's current population, we are supposed to have a congressman representing no more than 50,000 people, which would give the individual citizen 15 times more representation than they currently receive. They deserve the proper representation that is guaranteed in and by our Constitution. Imagine having a congressman in your backyard or around the corner instead of that congressman being in the back pocket of some big wig or corporation. Imagine yourself being able to run for office without having to raise millions of dollars and making millions of promises to people who only want to own you. Or, if you don't want to personally run for office, consider the benefit of being able to look over the shoulder of your representative and influencing them to do the right thing for you, your family, your town or city, your state and your country. If you believe in our Constitution and honor and love our country, help convince our government to follow and observe the ratified laws of the land. Bring responsive and responsible governance back. The only way to fix our broken system is through control of the House of Representatives. Congress is the key. It holds the purse strings to the Treasury, the power to tax, the absolute power over the operation of the Supreme Court, and has the power to rein in the executive. It seems that they have shirked their responsibilities all the while delegating their actual power and duties to the highest bidder. We the people can and must take back control of the House of Representatives. The last alternative to the ball and musket is Article the First. Time is short, the world is coming apart. If we don't fix our own country, we will be part of the problem. Here's a short civics lesson, the long one comes later. Three quick definitions. Democracy, the belief in freedom and equality between people, or a system of government based on this belief in which power is either held by elected representatives 
or directly by the people. Republic, a state in which supreme power is held by the people and their elected representatives, and which has an elected or nominated president rather than a monarch. Tyranny, government by a ruler or small group of people who have unlimited power over the people. Our government is only allowed to govern, but only with the consent of the governed. We were designed to be a unique democratic republic. The founders knew that the odds for success were very small. In the entire history of the world, we were the first to attempt it on a large scale. They understood that it was going to be a balancing act from the very beginning, which is why so many seemingly strange and undemocratic compromises were made. Without them, without the blend of patriotism and greed that occurred during that period of time, there would be no America at all. They gave us our start. They gave us the tools. They gave us everything necessary to build this nation. It is up to us to pick up these tools and get back to work. Their legacy is our duty. With the 2024 elections coming, the time to get busy is now. Available on Amazon, ASIN 1545 or 1835.